Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I had the fortune to watch Adrian Manorino practice with my good buddy Matthew Asha, uh, the top player here in Malta. Manorino is a resident of Malta. He's here from time to time, but mainly obviously traveling on the ATP Tour. He's a very strong player. He's been in the top 75 players in the world on the men's side for nine consecutive years. He's won one title in Hertogenbosch a few years back. He has reached 10 ATP finals. He beat Rublev, for example, in Moscow earlier this year and has beaten Silic and other top guys. So very strong player, hits with a, quite a flat and compact uh, stroke. Uh, I like watching his technique. It's a bit different, uh, still looks massively effective the way he really penetrates the court. Uh, with his shots was quite evident when you're up close to the player. Always like watching guys up close, behind, you know, so you get really a good idea of their technique, the, the pace they hit with and the, the footwork and everything. That's the way to watch tennis, in my opinion. When you're watching with this bird's eye view, it can be quite difficult to follow the, the technical aspects of the game, at least. You can see the ball trajectory, but you don't really, uh, it's not that easy to assess the speed. You might ask what racket Adrian Manorino uses. He's actually using a Bubble Lot Pure Aero uh, painted racket. It's an Aero Pro Drive 2013, the Aero Pro Drive GT, quite popular model. Benoit Paar uses that one. I think a few other ATP players also like, especially the 2013 version. Uh, and he has, has it customized to around 330 grams on strong. That's what he told me. I don't know the balance, I don't know the swing weight but it did feel pretty heavy, like a 350 swing weight with strings, strings it with all the power or some version of all the power and at a crazy low tension. This is the big uh, exclamation mark. He uses 11 kilos of string tension at the moment. So that's 24 pounds. So that's quite a trampoline, you would think, but he manages to control the ball. And I asked him about it, like how can you play with such a low tension? And he said, it's about getting used to it, learning to time it and he's using it very well. That the crazy low tension is probably one of the lowest, if not the lowest, on the ATP Tour. Uh, he's used a bit higher before, I know, like 16, 70 kilos. It all depends if he's indoors or outdoors and what the conditions are, obviously. 17 kilos is around 35 pounds for you who, who prefer that metric. Uh, and that's a very low tension still. Uh, the tensions are dropping, but Manorino is, is one of the ones who play with, with the lowest possible tension in my, my experience. So. Uh, very interesting uh, to see him hit and to understand how he can control the ball with that tension. But it's all in the technique and the timing and what you're used to. He's struggled a bit with injuries over the years and now it's the elbow. He talked about it affecting him on serve especially. Uh, I know that from my own experience of course and, and many of you all also know that tennis can be pretty rough on the elbow due to polystring, stiff rackets and a more modern technique that's changed the game a little bit. And uh, when you talk to many pro players, they also struggle with this. It's, this is not only a recreational problem because we time the ball or, or have bad technique. It's a, it's a problem from overuse a lot of the time. Obviously, timing it can also be an issue, but when you hit so many balls as the pros do, obviously there will be situations where they don't time or miss hit and they hit harder and so on. So they will also suffer some, some uh, overuse injuries and, and problems. And uh, many of them actually have to use painkillers during matches to actually be able to, to play. And, and Adrian told me the same, that it's, it's something that, that he tends to do at times to, to actually cope with playing. And that's a big problem in tennis. These injuries are quite prevalent, quite common on the tour. And uh, it's a sad thing, really, that it's such an issue with these types of injuries. Using a low string tension helps. Obviously, his racket is pretty stiff, but the tension should mitigate some of that. But still, that overuse over and over again, hitting these balls and sometimes, you know, playing in colder climates, sometimes hitting uh, a bit of center or shanking due to the pace uh, of the balls, it's going to be lead to some injuries. So um, I'm going to talk to uh, a friend of mine, my physio, Amos, about these types of injuries, how to prevent them. He's a very smart guy in these topics. So uh, I think that could be interesting for a Tennis Nerd podcast. So if you're interested in more Tennis Nerd podcasts, I will be more frequent with my episodes, took a bit of a pause, and now I'm back. Uh, we'll talk to uh, Dennis Fabian from Head, an episode coming soon, and then we'll get into the physio. And if you have any other ideas for guests you want to listen to on the Tennis Nerd podcast, let me know in the comments below. 
Uh, but today I was really fascinated to watch uh, Adrian hit uh, up close. Uh, they had a really high tempo. Uh, it's, it looks like another sport sometimes when you're watching the pros play. And Asha Cape kept the tempo well. He's, he's a very good player and, and was ranked around 800 when he played, I think, at, at his best. And now he's mainly coaching. So, uh, But he can still hit a very good ball, as you can see in this video. And I must also say that Adrian was very open and nice to talk to. He seems like a, a, a friendly guy. And I wish him all the best now for the next season, going to Australia and so on. So uh, the best of luck to Adrian and his upcoming uh, tennis tournaments. Uh, that's about it for this one. I hope you find this interesting to watch some pros hit. Uh, I usually like that myself, so that's kind of why I make these videos. I always get enjoyment and some learning out of it, out of studying these players up close. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to the channel and more of this stuff to come. Uh, also consider supporting me on Patreon, patreon.com slash tennis nerd, or by buying something through my affiliates. The links are in the description. Have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.